How you making, Bone Gang? And welcome back to another episode. It's gonna be another squirrel hunting video, and I know what you're thinking. Hey, why don't you duck hunt? It's duck season, and it's like your favorite thing to hunt. I know, but there isn't any ducks. We went fishing yesterday in a spot that we usually uh, duck hunt at, and I didn't, didn't see a single bird. And today is gonna be daggum near 80 degrees. 80 degrees, and the ducks don't seem to like that. So we need a good cold front to come through push us down some more ducks it ain't gonna do me any good just sitting around the house twiddling my thumb so me and lucas is gonna come out and do some more squirrel hunting and make sure you stick tuned to the channel because me and my brother are about to head up to kansas to sand hill flyway and we're gonna do some more uh duck hunting and some little goose hunting uh just like me and spencer and josh did last year so that's definitely gonna be a good time some great content but before we get too deep into it make sure you head over to shop outdoors.com after you watch this uh episode and pick up some pbo camo some pelican bone outdoors camouflage we got hoodies we got beanies we got face mask <laughs> we, we we even have a fanny pack now this right here is the woodland camo we also have the wetland camo the little marsh camo it's a little bit more lighter so you can uh hide in the marsh or maybe even a cornfield that's enough of that let's get down to squirrel hunting <laughs> Took us a while to get here because that fog was thick, so we weren't doing no more than 10 to 15 miles an hour most of the way. And as a matter of fact, when we turned on this little canal, we got stuck on a sunken fluke on. We had to push ourselves off. Speaking of which, forgot to uh, collapse the push pole, so when we pulled into the bank, it got a little bent. It'd be alright. Once we got here, we were getting ready, and we heard some coyotes howling uh, one over that way and one over that way. Uh, maybe we'll see some coyotes, but I don't think it's legal to take them on this piece of land for whatever reason, so. Yeah. There's two of them. There's one right there in front, and there's one up there. I'm trying to see where the other one went. that one. Hey, be on the lookout for that other one. Oh, I hope he's down low. You got that one. Yeah, that one dropped. Oh, he, he went further that way, so. Okay. Yeah, the other one, he took off further that way by that other oak tree. Okay. Might be tough locating him, because I'm not sure exactly what branch he was under. All right, let's uh, mosey on over there. Oh, no, I see him. You did? Okay, just making sure. Oh, he's a big enough. Yeah, he's got a little size to him. That's a nice, chunky squirrel. Yeah, for a gray squirrel, he's a... Uh, a good size. Oh man, I forgot my uh, yeah, I can see. my thing. Oh yeah, sure, you can take them. Don't you be stealing my squirrel, man. You get your own squirrels. Well, you know what suck? That same thing come too while he's in that uh that vest right there. <laughs> and moving on. That's two. That's the next tree. Well, he should have fell right here. I mean, he did drop. Interesting. Oh, 
okay? Unless he wasn't dead then, that don't make no sense to me. You see that, that dark spot right there? Where that little, little branch is sticking up? Yeah. It's right here. Yeah. That little brown spot? Yeah. That's where he was sitting. So... He dropped dead in the hammer. Or so I thought. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't get it. So we came back over here. I downloaded the video from the shot cam footage to see. And I definitely knocked him out of the tree. But I don't think I killed him. <coughs> Looks like I shot below and to the right of him. And I can see when he's falling that he's trying to catch his balance. So I don't even know if I hit him at all. I might have just knocked the branch out from under him. But he definitely ain't dead. That means probably ain't going to find him. Okay, moving on. I don't know how you miss a squirrel sitting still. that away in the hunt for some squirrels and uh nothing so we made our way back to where i shot that squirrel that i didn't down decided we we're gonna sit here and wait because we've seen two other squirrels beside the one i shot at and uh nothing so there you have it <laughs> well lucas then found the coronavirus i mean you gotta watch in these woods yeah buddy and this is one of my favorite reasons of hunting this spot. Because you got a little breakfast, a little snack, a little brunch in the middle of the hunt. There you go, you got it. I'm going to put these two in the bag because we might, uh, might cook that squirrel with these puppies. Get a little citrus squirrel in the making. That's two in the pocket. Now I need some for my belly. There we go. That's good for now. I might get one on the way back out. And I always like to leave a bunch on the tree for anybody else that comes hunt. Ain't trying to be greedy. Hey, you dropped something. Mm. Ooh, that sauce bon. Wait till you see how sweet that is. What in the world? Is that an egg sitting in that tree right there? Dude, what is that? Unless that's a mushroom, that's like a little just like an egg. What in the world? Oh no, it is a mushroom. Yeah. Dude, that looks like a daggum egg from back there. Huh. The crap you see in the woods. So, um, the original intro to this segment, uh, file was corrupted, lost it somehow, didn't work. So, basically, we're turning this video into a catch clean cook. Uh, already cleaned the squirrel, and since we only got one, I decided to go ahead and cook some fish along with it. Uh, you know, just so we wasn't wasting our time on just one squirrel. But uh, basically, I'm gonna try my hand at smoking a squirrel. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get this smoker uh, started before we start prepping so that it can be doing that while we're doing our thing. Plug it in first, obviously. That's dirty. There we go. So we're gonna be using this here uh, master built electric smoker because Traeger hasn't uh, sponsored any of my videos but if you know somebody so we're gonna go ahead and set this thing man you can't even see the numbers oh it's doing something weird on the camera all right well you just have to take my word for it we're gonna go ahead and set this bad boy to 220 why 220 I have no idea put our wood pellets in the tube I like to use these wood pellets because I just think they work better and that electric smoker than the uh, wood chips at the bottom do so yeah, put those in there, pack them nice and tight. So then I like to set it on the grill like that to get them lit. Turn the old propane on, light this puppy here. Woo, there we go. And we're just gonna get this, this top part lit right, y'all. Once that get good and lit and we'll blow it out, let it start smoking and we'll chuck it in the old smoker. All right, let's get back inside and start uh, prepping the meat. 
All right, so as far as the squirrel goes, I had it soaking in a brine, a salt and water solution, as well as I poured a little slap your mamas on top of it. Let it sit, been sitting probably for a couple of hours, I reckon. I'm just gonna drip this little water off real fast. All right, that's good, we'll slap them on the plate. And I think we're just gonna sprinkle it with a little bit more. This here slappy mamas. A little dab will do you. I'll coat that nice and pretty light. Flip her over, do the same thing. Yep, 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 oh. Get that little piece of hair off of there. And then, we're gonna take some of this here. I'm gonna take some of this Grill Mate Steakhouse maple. Just cause it sounds delicious. Never tried it before. There's the first time. Ooh. 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 That smells nice. Sprinkle that on there nice and, well, that's a little heavy, but it'll be all right. Get that nice and coated good. Mmm. 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 And then we're going to sprinkle some of this garlic powder. Do we need it? I have no idea. But I like garlic and powder. So, oh my goodness. I think our wood pellets are uh, cooking pretty good. Yep. Uh, I think she's lit. All right, let's see what she looks like. Oh, yeah. There y'all go. I'm going to set this right, y'all. Let her burn out for a second. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that's hot. No, it's not. <laughs> Silly me. Oh. Better put this back like I found it. Oh yeah, she's smoking. All right, where was we? Oh yeah, so we seasoned the squirrel and now, I guess I'm seasoning the fish. I'm just gonna season the fish the same way as I did the squirrel. Not gonna spend too much time on the fish as this is a squirrel catch clean cook video and not a fish. It's probably not gonna come out very good anyway, so. There's only about three things I know how to cook well and uh, one of them is scrambled eggs, so. I don't even know if that counts. And also keep in mind when I clean these fish, I was not thinking about smoking them at the time, which is why I didn't leave them on the half shell. Cause normally anything on the grill or the smoker, you want to kind of leave them on the half shell. <clears throat> so what I'm probably going to do is let the squirrel cook for about an hour and then we're going to wrap it in foil and add one of those uh, little satsumas that we picked from the tree during the hunt. See if we can add a little citrus flavor. Also, we're gonna put some butter and uh, wrap it up so that it stays moist because we don't want it to dry out. We're not exactly cooking squirrel jerky, even though it might be how it comes out. But I don't know, I'm winging this as we go along. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. So hopefully we can cook it long enough where it gets tender. As far as the fish goes, well, I don't know. We'll just see what happens. So I put the fish on the top shelf because I didn't want the juice from the squirrel dripping on top of the fish if I did it the other way around. And the fish have a little pan, so it should hold the juice. If not, we'll just call it fish sauce. All right, let's button her up and we'll come check it in an hour. Well, hello, senor. All right, well, an hour done passed. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Ooh, smoking. Oh, yeah. Starting to get a little color to it. And so do the fish. Ooh, look at the juices on that fish. Man, can you even see that? I don't even know if you can see that. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Smells delicious. All right. Well, oh, well, come on. Nope, not so much. All right. Let me bring this bad boy in here because we're going to, I think we're going to wrap him up. I don't know, though. I don't know. All right. So I'll tell you what, since that doesn't look like it's drying out too bad yet, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let it sit on a smoker for a little bit longer while we prep the aluminum foil and the other ingredients we're gonna wrap it up in. I'm just gonna, ooh, that was close. Grab me this here spoon, and I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of this butter or whatever I can't believe it's not butter is. That ought to do it. Yeah, we got a little bit of that butter. What? Uh, what's that? Oh yeah. No. Yes. No. 
I'm gonna toss a little bit of minced garlic in there. Do, 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 do. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but uh, you know, we're just experimenting. Then I'm gonna put a little dab of do you this here Worcestershire sauce. Make a little, I'll make a little bowl out of it so it don't end up all over the table. Reckon that's good. And I'm gonna go ahead and melt some of this here butter, or whatever it is, to put on the fish too. Almost forgot to put this in there. I'm gonna go ahead and heal this delicious sasuma. Whoa, look at that juice. I'm gonna sprinkle that juice in here like so. So I squirted one with the juice and we're just gonna, I'm gonna lay two or three of these in here. I reckon that's good. See what happens. Took the squirrel out. He looked like he's starting to dry out a little bit, so I think we took it out just in time. It's still a little flimsy, so it's not completely jerky. Now let's wrap her up and see what happens. Catch you back in a few. But while we wait, I did pull out the redfish from the smoker, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. If it tastes half as good as it looks and smells, boy. It's nice and flaky, my mouth's watering already. Now my wife don't particularly like this part when people actually taste the food on camera, so. Mmm! That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I do believe I'm on to something here. I said if that squirrel's half as good as this, we're doing all right. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The moment of truth. Oh my goodness. Mm, y'all smell that? I mean, for real, y'all, look at that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and give it the old tender test and see if it breaks apart. Now, this was a male squirrel, it was a young male squirrel, but males just tend to be more, more tougher than the females. Not breaking apart as easy as I would like it, but we'll see, we'll see. A little orange, put that on the side. Get out of here. For some reason, I wanna taste this orange first. It's hot and not all that tasty. Let's go to the squirrel. Mm -hmm. Hold on, got a bone. Wow, I must say it do have a delicious flavor. It's actually not tough at all, and it is certainly not bad at all. Don't really taste any of the citrus, which might be a good thing. Definitely got a good smokiness to it. Mm, I can't stop eating it. That is good. If you got a favorite recipe, make sure you leave that in the comments down below. And uh, maybe we'll give it a try, put it on another video. But that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this one, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna go sit and enjoy the rest of this squirrel. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and before you go, watch one of these videos.